Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here and welcome back to another 2K video and a very, very special 2K video. So obviously today we are not on my account, we're on Eric's account again, the absolute hero. And uh, he is giving me the privilege of not only unpacking his Pink Diamond Blake, so getting the first gameplay for him on this account, but also badging him up and we're talking about 250,000 MTs worth of badges. Oh my god. The Blake card is going to be ridiculous by the end of this video. So, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous that I might mess up, but he's given me a list of things to do. So, hopefully, everything's going to plan. He's got a diamond shoe already ready for him as well. So, everything is completely set up for this Blake card to be insane. Now, obviously, on my own account, at the moment, we're on about 90,000 XP. So, we're a cool little 60,000 XP behind right now. Uh, but yeah, depending on how this goes, depending on how good this Blake is, it will either spur me on to uh, go ahead and complete him on my own account, or it might make me think that I don't really need him. But I think it's going to be the former. I don't think it's going to be the latter. All I've seen so far about this Blake card is purely positive. I don't think I've seen anything negative about this Blake card. So yeah, before we go into it, guys, if you are new around here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel the channel, the channel for daily streams and daily videos, and of course, mass shout out to the goats of the channel: Eric, Jason, Cody, Spooky, Callum, Caleb, Aiden, Dubs, Andrew, Josh, Milkshake, and Hammer. Thank you guys so much for your support, and obviously, it goes without saying, a huge thank you to Eric for allowing me to jump on his account today and get this done. This is insane. He does stream himself over on Twitch. So if you guys want to see that, then check him out. Link, of course, will be in the description down below. And his Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash theclays1. Uh, and he obviously did stream quite a bit of this grind because it's a hell of a grind. So let's click on this. Pink Diamond Balake. Pink Diamond Blake Griffin. Now, obviously, to get to this point... I'm expecting to see an insane amount of challenges done. Now, he did message me and say that he had all bar one. He had all of the loyalty events except the lock-in done before the reset. So he got a lot of extra XP uh, from redoing these. So, you know, all of these he, he was able to do twice. So the only ones he didn't have done were the uh, this original owner one and then obviously the Sam Jones, the lock-in reward. So he had all of the other ones done. And then he got to do them all again. That's insane. So that was a huge little W. Uh, but yeah, let's have a little look. So he's already been on and obviously done his daily ones today, which got him over that threshold. He's 250 over, so mad. Uh, he did the Kobe White today. He's done all of the... Jesus, he's done all of the Grant Hill Idols ones. Mad. Fair play. He's done all of the week one, all of the week two, all of the week three, all of the week four. He's done Zion, Luca, Rui, Duncan, Robinson, Jared Jackson Jr., Trey. He did the 50 steals with Shea, Gilgis, Alexander. Uh, he did the tip of ones. He's done all of the spotlights so far. He did all of these challenges, which only came out a couple of days ago. He's won 100 games of Triple Threat Offline. He's won 50 games of Triple Threat Online. Uh, he's done the Emerald, Sapphire, Ruby, and Amethyst reward markets. And then uh, up the top, most stuff's been done already anyway. Uh, he's on 11 wins out of Unlimited. These challenges, of course, only came out a couple of days ago. Team up. The only ones he hasn't done are the lock-ins, which is, of course, Michael, uh, Michael Marcus Canby. The only international ones he hasn't done are the lock-in, which is Della Shrimp. At the Dunkers one, he hasn't done John Wall. And I don't blame him because John Wall's only 1,000 XP. And then he hasn't done the lock-in. Um, he hasn't done the lock-in for the Possessed. Hasn't done the original owner bonuses and hasn't done the original owner bonuses. All the threes with Danny Granger, the only challenge he hasn't done, and I don't blame him. Um, and then obviously these ones are ridiculously expensive. So pretty much everything that you could possibly do, no money spent, Eric has done it. Because obviously if you're talking about locking in sets, it gets very expensive. So I don't blame him for not doing those. But uh, yeah, absolutely insane, guys. Enough talking. We've seen how he does it. What are these for? I don't even know. Uh, oh, they're duplicates, aren't they? So that's why he's keeping them there. But anyway, doesn't matter. Pink Diamond, Blake Griffin. Let's see how nice this card is going to be. Now, I remember looking at the stats of this card when it was first announced. So 25 days ago, I think. Uh, so let's have a look at this card. Uh, so I can't really remember what stats he has. I can't really remember how crazy he's going to be. And I haven't even seen any gameplay on him. So for me, this is going to be a first as well. Um, and I imagine it might be a first for you guys as well. So clips number 32, Pink Diamond Blake Griffin. There he is. Don't do some stupid dance. Okay, we like that. Um, and we've got an insane amount of badges, guys. We're talking like range extender from nothing up to gold. Like, yeah, that's that's what we're going to be doing to this Blake Griffin card. So let's just go ahead and put him into what was a good team. This is a good team, obviously. Uh, and where is he? Here he is. We'll just plunk him into the uh, starting lineup for the time being, of course. 
So, original owner, 96 Blake Griffin. So, we'll have a look at him before uh, we add anything to him. So, off rip, nine Hall of Fame badges. Lob City finisher, relentless, chase down, contact finisher, showtime, slithery. And then gold badges, catch and shoot, corner specialist. We've got acrobat, rim protector, heart crusher, rebound chaser. Uh, we've also got downhill, quick first step, flexible release, green machine, hot zone hunter, brick wall, silver diamond, bronze ankle breaker. And then stats, 92 driving layup, 98. 8 driving dunk, 98 standing dunk, 89 3, 92 mid, 83 ball control, 85 interior D. The block's not the best at 75, but great rebounding. And then great speed, but 72 lateral quickness, huh? I assume his shoe will boost that, but we'll see in a second. Uh, 85 speed, 84 acceleration, very, very nice. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go put a shoe on him. It's definitely an Air Jordan 30 something. Um, it is a Air Jordan 33 PE. This one, three-point lateral quickness, speed. That looks about right. So, as expected, Eric is going to go ahead and boost his uh, his lateral quickness and his three-point shot at the same time, because why not? So, let's add that bad boy to Blake's. And now he comes in with an 83 draw foul, 95 mid, 92 three, 88 speed, and 75 lateral quickness. Not bad at all. Now, let's look at, let's have a look at the bad situation. So, if we come down here, he has got... Uh, five empty slots and quite a few that can be upgraded and he's got six that can be upgraded so again I don't want to mess this up guys this is, this is important stuff so let's just start upgrade silver and gold ankle breaker okay so we can do that so let's boost up ankle breaker up to gold on Blake Griffin because why not so let's get that one done uh, upgrade gold break starter dimer flashy passer lob city passer and pass fake so that is five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so all silvers are going up to gold. This card is going to be... He's even upgrading Flashy Passer, because why not? He's even upgrading Flashy Passer, because why not? Okay, so those ones are pretty straightforward, because obviously they were already there. Now we've got to add in the new badges. So now we are going to add in... Let's have a look. We are going to... He doesn't have Intimidator? Of course. Okay, so... The list is Clamps, Range Extender, Intimidator, Deadeye, and Interceptor. So, Intimidator. Let's add that in. We then also want Interceptor. Let's add that in. I really don't want to mess this up, guys. We then need Clamps. Let's add that in. And then we need Range and we need Deadeye. We need Range and Deadeye. Range Extender. Oh, my days. To be fair... He's pretty much picked all of the badges that I would add on this card as well. And now we've got to go ahead and take all of these badges from bronze up to gold as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Upgrade, please. Um, now we've got to take them all up from bronze to gold, because why not? Do you know how expensive range extender is to get up to that level? That's insane. Oh, my goodness. Intimidate as well. I can't imagine that's cheap. Clamps ain't cheap. And uh, let's get these last two done here, guys. And uh, that is Pink Diamond, Blake Griffin. Now fully badged up, fully equipped with nine Hall of Fame and 41 gold badges. Seeing that, I'm like, yeah, I should probably go ahead and pick him up on my main account. And he can still get some of these upgraded to Hall of Fame. Obviously, if you had them at Hall of Fame, I don't think Eric's got any uh, Hall of Fame badges left. So I'm, quick. I'm obviously not going to put any on, but I just want to have a look. He's got off-ball pest and showtime. Blake's obviously already got showtime. And I don't think you really need off-ball pest on him. But those range extenders, he's still got another one in here. So we can have a look at the price off rip. It's 26k for the bro for the gold one. 26k for the gold one. That is insane. He's got a silver in here as well. That's another 26k. The bronze one. Does he have another bronze one? Surely not. He does. Oh, my God. Actually, I know why he's got them. So that's 20K. So you're looking at about 60, 65K to get a card from no bro no range to gold, gold range. That's mad. And I can tell you why he's got it, because I know that he's already preparing to do a similar thing to this guy right here, Pink Diamond Jerry Brown. I know he's already going to go mad on the badges on that JB, and that's why he's already got a lot of those badges uh, ready to go, which is insane. While we're over here, I just want to say... The timing of this card is so clutch because, as you can see, the uh, 250k tournament qualifiers is, well, the next qualifier, November 21st. So, I mean, if Eric goes into it, that uh, he's at a pretty good advantage with his pink 
Diamond, Blake, Griffin. So let's just make this the uh, main squad just for the time being. Uh, we'll just put in some random people here and then some random people down here. And uh, then we'll just jump into Freestyle just to see what his release is like, see what his animation is like, and see how quick he really feels. One more thing that I did forget to mention, and I knew I'd forget something because he gave me a lot to remember. Uh, Blake goes up to 98 rated, by the way, so he's an Opal. He's an Opal. Uh, he does run the Amethyst. Is it Amethyst? Mike D'Antoni? Whatever Mike D'Antoni is this year, I think he's Amethyst. He runs Amethyst Mike D'Antoni as his coach. So, now, Blake has a 99 mid-range and a 96 Three-point shot. The driving dunk gets capped at 99. I think the driving layout was already 96. Um, what else will get boosted? Speed will get boosted with uh, Mike D'Antoni, pretty sure. Defensive rebounding goes up to 97. I'm pretty sure that's a boost. Um, and we come down here to the speed. 92 for the speed now. 94 strength. My goodness. Hot zones. Absolutely everywhere. You do love to see that. And uh, oh man, the amount of time. The amount of time this card takes to get is absolutely insane. Can I please hit the first shot? We do! I mean, it's not green, naturally, but we're green the second one, so I'll take that. I'm not going to lie. Um, incredible. Now, Blake in previous years has suffered from having a really, really bad and just really slow and unreliable jump shot. That's kind of what's held Blake back for a long, long, long time. Um, it's not bad. It's a little bit on the slow side, yes. Um... But, I'll tell you what, even I can green with it, and that says something. That really does say something. Now, moving to the rim, he feels alright. He doesn't feel lightning quick, but of course we are working with that 75 lateral quickness. Um, and I don't think he has a best view of all. Um, but he is a big man, so it's not going to be the big men of last year, guys. You're not going to be bringing up the ball with him like we were at the end of 2K20 with like Kareem and Shaq and whatever. To be fair, that crossover is actually not that bad. The crossover is actually pretty damn good. So that's not bad. I don't know what is behind the back is. Let's have a quick little look at that. So, driving down the floor on the fast break. Uh, the behind the back is not awful. To be fair, not awful. All right, let's go ahead, guys. Let's give... I was about to say Galaxy Opal. We might as well say Galaxy Opal. Let's give Pink Diamond 98 rated Blake Griffin his debut. Let's jump into a game of that online. And let's see how he does. All right, so fair to say we've taken a pretty solid squad into this game, which you guys will see in a second, but obviously it's headlined by the Blake. Uh, we've also got the Pink Diamond Steph and a Galaxy Opal, Elgin Baylor, an actual Galaxy Opal. That Blake easily should be. He goes 98 rated, like, bruh. Uh, my man has got Clay, Richie Guerin, and Andrea Bargnani. So Andrea Bargnani, not the best on the defensive end, and uh, Blake, insane on every end. It, it really doesn't matter. Let's see how he is on the defensive. Okay, that's not that's not his fault. That's Steph's fault. That's Death's fault. So how do we want to play this? Do I want to give the ball to him? I think I kind of do. This guy looks like he's going to be uh, off-boarding as well. So I feel like we should be able to burn him to the rim. And Blake Griffin, on his first possession, has just killed a man. Oh, Clay Thompson. I'm so sorry. Clay, I'm so sorry. you got Steph out here watching you as well. Oh, Clay, I'm so sorry. We've just murdered him. <laughs> Literally, Blake Griffin's first bucket. You can't make it up. You can't make it up. And now he's posterized Barniani like he wasn't even there. This guy, when he goes to the rim, you ain't stopping him. He just feels so strong. It looks like he wants to break down the backboard. Oh, they are angry. They are aggressive dunks right there. Damn, you'll love to see it. Blake, Blake, he's on that, he's on that, and we're going to the rim, Richie Guerin's in the way, oh, Richie Guerin stops in, you're lying, we disagree with that, I don't, I don't agree with your verdict, but it's fine, he's going to stay under the rim, I probably wouldn't, bro, I probably wouldn't, uh, Blake doesn't throw that one down, but we get a little layup to go, I mean, he's not going to throw it down every time, although it would be nice if he did, uh, we'll take a couple of jump shots with him as well, guys, I don't want to just be uh, driving to the rim the entire game, even though it is so much fun, uh, but we will definitely get a couple of shots to go with him. And maybe a couple of rebounds. Let's go. Good board. Good board. And a lot of traffic right there. Do a little crossover. Step back. Oh, imagine if we take some of these shots. We'll take that one, though. Oh, the latency. Oh, it's bad. If you guys didn't know, we play in Europe. All right, the servers are bad. We know this. It's big, sad. 
But it's been that way since release day, so it's not really too much of a surprise. Can't Blake, I'll release it a lot earlier this time. It's just guesswork. It's just pure guesswork. Right, maybe we're going to stay driving to the rim. Maybe we'll stay driving to the rim. I want to hit at least one three, though. I want to at least hit one three. No? I mean, the first two releases have felt so different. That one felt different as well. But he hits it. All right, there we go. So we can knock down a three, eventually. Uh, now let's just go ahead and start attacking that rim again, shall we? Oh, I wouldn't mind throwing him a little alley-oop. That was, that was pretty easy. Well, that was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? You could have put a little more sauce on that, Blake. You could have put a little more sauce on that, Blake. Didn't want to, though, but that's fine. Maybe he was just warming up. Uh, but, yeah, the speed was very noticeable there. We called for a cut, and obviously he's being guided by Bagnani, and Bagnani had literally no chance of getting anywhere near to him. Again. Okay, he got there that time. Fair enough. Only just, though. Only just. Oh, he's off-balling. Big mistake. Big mistake. Big mistake. That was too easy that time. Again, a little bit more power on that one from Blake, which you'd like to see. Um, yeah, throwing it down, guys. Attacking the rim. This this card is just absolutely absurd. Absolutely absurd. Feels so quick as well. On the defense end, sure, his block's only like a 75 or whatever, but rebounding is like 90. He gets the slashing takeover as well. What do we do here? Do we bulldoze our way to the rim? We try to, and we get the little shot to go. Not bad. All right, we've got we've got the slash and takeover. We've got to do some bad things. We've got to do some bad things to some of these, <laughs> some of these players out here. Let's see if we can catch another big body like we did with that clay in literally the first possession. Bro, I wasn't even looking the right way. Elton Baylor just yeeted that up. He wasn't even looking. He's just like, yeet? Blake's there somewhere. Blake will get it. Don't worry. And he did. And he did. I know you're going this way, bro. I know you're going to the outside here. Uh, yeah, mad. All right, we'll try and get one that's not an alley-oop because I feel like obviously we've got more chance of getting a... Let's go, Blake. All right, go on. What? You did not lay that up. All right, Blake's not worth it, guys. He takes layups. Not worth it. Not for me. <laughs> I'm playing, of course. This card is ridiculous. Does it make me more inclined to grind for him? A little bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. What are we going to do here? We're going to try and... Okay, we've got to... Hello? Oh, bad animation. I was going to say, we've got to end it on a on a big time poster. Or at least the attempt of a big time poster. So, let's see what we can do here. It is only Banyani, so we should be good. Richard Gurin, get out of the way. Get out of the way, I'll take that one. He was kind of underneath it. He was kind of under there, so I'll take that. Wow. Okay, first impressions. Blake feels so fast. Lat laterally as well, doesn't really feel that bad. So it doesn't feel that bad. Dribbling, not awful for a big man at this point in the game. Actually very good. Uh, obviously attacking the rim goes without saying. He's insane. Rebounding felt very strong as well. Um, all in all, as you might expect from a pink dive of Blake Griffin, the card is insane. All right, so we've got Eric a little win there, which is all good. I am now going to come off the account, obviously, because... We've got to let the man who's grinded this card play with this card for himself. But thank you so much for giving me the debut. Give me the opportunity to kick him out. Um, I won't put a contract on because I don't know if he's going to go straight for a diamond contract or what. Wouldn't surprise me if he does. Because my goodness, this card is a madness. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Like I said, make sure to show, make sure to show massive love to Eric. Uh, to follow his Twitch. And uh, yeah, unbelievable. Thank you so much, bro. What a gameplay that was. And it does make me a little bit more motivated to go ahead and get the big fella for myself. But that is going to do it from me today, guys. Hope you have enjoyed. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.